Hi, my name is Abir and I'm from Skill Curve. And today we will be learning DAX for customer transaction within the last 30 days. And then we will also classify them into groups. So let's get started. So let's visualize the customer company by clicking on the orders table and select it from there. And then you can see the multiple different unique company names. We can increase the size of the values by clicking on the values and make that to 15 so that it is visible enough. Now let's figure out how many transactions in the last 30 days for each of the company. This means that we need to modify the context a little bit because we only want to count the rows in the table. The transactional IDs for this company is within the last 30 days. So in our case, the dates could be anything but in this lab, let's just use the max order date in the data set. So let's make a new measure to visualize this. Right click on the new measure and then select part. Now let's name this as max order date. And then let us use the max function in order to return the maximum value. And then write the order date from the order table of course. And then click enter. Now if you select that measure that we created and then visualize this as a card, you will be able to see the max order date. Let's select the format as short date since we only need the date and not the time. So that's our reference date. Now we need to count the transactions from the date minus 30 days. So let's create a new measure and then name this as transactions last 30 days. And then we will use the calculate function for the count of rows for order table. And then let's modify the function and add a filter. We will write the dates table, comma the date in the dates table. And it is, is greater than or equal to the max of order date from the order table. And then at the same time, that, mean, that is why we are adding and. And the date from the dates table should be greater than the max of order date from order table minus 30. So basically we're counting the rows in the orders table, but we're using a filter and we want to use the filtered versions of the date. It should evaluate all the dates that are greater than or equal to the order date, which we evaluated as a reference value. And then at the same time, it should be greater than the current reference value minus the 30 days. Now let's press enter and evaluate this. And there's our measure. Let's click on the tick mark and add that to the customer company table. And we will be able to see the transaction for each company for last 30 days. And now let's classify these transactions which we got as a number here. Let's classify this if all the transactions are less than 3 should be classified as a risky customer because they haven't got too many transactions. Anything between 3 and 5 should be average customer. Any transaction above 5 should be as a top customer. You can set these thresholds according to what you want. So first we will create an additional helper table and from the home tab we will press enter data. And this will allow us to manually create a table. So let's name this as customer classification table. And now for the column, let's add the name as classification. And for the rows, let's add top, average and risky. Next in the columns should be minimum and maximum. Okay, so for risky, the minimum value should be zero and the maximum value should be three. For average, let's add the minimum value as three and the maximum value as five. And for the top, let's say the minimum value as five and then the maximum value as thousand. Since we don't know the exact amount of transaction in the past 30 days in this table. And then you can press on load. And now we can see our customer classification table. If I click on the data view and here you will be able to see the table that we just created. Okay, so back to the report view. Now let's create a specific DAX to show us the label here instead of numbers. So what we'll do is create a new measure. And now let's call that as classify customers and then calculate the selected values for the customer classification table classification name for itself. And now let's add the filter to remove any filters that might have been applied for the customer classification table. And then we ensure the transaction from the last 30 days is greater than or equal to the minimum of the customer classification table. 
and then at the same time the transaction from the last 30 days is less than the maximum of the customer classification table and now i can just press shift enter to make the code easier to understand and then press enter and now we have the classify customer measure created now let's add this to our table by tick marking it and now we can see the classified customers if the transaction is two we have risky and then if we have four we have average and then anything above seven transaction is classified as top so that is how labeling works this ends our lab here thank you so much for watching